hello welcome to the tutorial for the Amberley dress if you don't already have the pattern the link is in the description this is the bodice sections we're gonna stitch the shoulder seam together front and back bodice set line them up pin them if you need to And the side seam, tiny little side seam on this as it's a cropped bodice. Nice and, and easy fitting this dress, very comfy. One centimetre seam allowance on all my patterns unless it says otherwise in the description. There we go, going to stitch a centimetre from the edge. Back tack. And away we go. That's the second shoulder being done there and the, sh and the second side seam. Okay, we're going to press this seam open on the shoulder and I will overlock the edges so you can zigzag or whichever your method of favoured method of finishing is use that one clipping into this curve because it's a very tight curve clip in as much as you can so that it opens up straight like that so when you're finishing the raw edge you can make it nice and straight and it will still have lots of manoeuvrability there we go, overlocked, pressed, body seems done. Next up, facings. You can see I've interfaced the back, make it a little bit firmer, hold the shape of the neckline, line up the shoulder seams, pin it if you need to, centimetre seam allowance, just pop those together. That's it, I've overlocked the edges again. Give it a press. I'm going to overlock all around the outside as well to neaten it before I put it onto the bodice. Here's the bodice. And here's our facing. Match up your side seams, shoulder seams even, with a pin. Pin round the curve. If you feel you need to tack it in place as well as pin, then do that, that's fine. Whatever makes it easier for you. One centimetre seam allowance again, all the way around. There you go. Now we're going to clip into the curves, trim down those seams. Just trim a little bit away there. Just makes it a little bit less bulky. It's not terribly bulky, this fabric, but it's less likely to show through when you press it. And then we're going to clip into the curves so that when we do our edge stitching in a moment, it will all lie beautifully smoothly and flat. That's it, we pull the seam allowance towards the facing. So away from the dress, towards the facing. And then we're going to put a stitch line in just about there, right near the edge to hold that seam allowance away and next to the facing so that it forms a really nice, smooth, crisp edge. Makes it much easier to press it as well. There we go, job done. Nice line of edge stitching there. And as you'll see, when I turn it over like that, it already forms a really nice edge and that's before it's been pressed. So pop that under the iron and that will be really lovely. Now we're going to secure this facing at the shoulders. So if you find 
your shoulder seam we're going to be doing what I call stitching in the ditch which is that little gap there that little dip in between the front and back panels just going to do about a centimeter or so with a back tack and that should hold your facing nicely in so it doesn't pop out or flap around when you're getting changed there we are that's kind of how it's going to be in the ditch so it doesn't show on the right side now we're going to hem our cuffs again i choose to overlock and turn but you might want to just do a little turn and turn that'll be five millimeters by five millimeters i'm going to pin a centimeter so that's my total allowance and just do a stitch There we go, stitching that down. It's a nice simple way to finish off the cuff. Incidentally, your thread should match much better than mine does. I believe it or not, I asked when I ordered the linen to have a thread match. They offer a thread match service at the place I bought it from and that was the best they could do, sadly. <laughs> but hopefully your thread match is a bit better than mine. Side seams. This is on the skirt. Again, I've pre-overlocked just because it's easier to show you and simpler. I've got notches at the center front and the center back. I'll need that when I put my gathers in. Centimeter seam allowance. Nice, nice straight seam, this one. back tack to finish press it open lovely crisp seam obviously both sides need to be stitched like that and then we're going to put the gathering threads in one of your gathering threads needs to be a centimeter from the raw edge the other one needs to be halfway between that centimeter and the edge so five millimeters I'll start off by lining it up on my guide on the machine to do the one centimeter and when I've done that I will then go back round doing the five millimeter from the edge. I've also broken my stitches just before and after the side seams again partly because it's bulky and it's harder to pull the gathering threads through all that bulk from the side seam so uh, this way, hopefully, I won't break my threads when I'm pulling them up. Set, time together. Find your notches, pin your side seams to side seams on your bodice. Nice even gathers is what we're looking for. Pull gently. I always pull from the bobbin side as that seems to run a bit easier when you're pulling them up. Do that all the way around. Okay, time to attach it to the bodice. Find that notch, find those side seams. To match up. Here we go, side seam there, to side seam of the skirt. Pop a pin in it. Other side seam to side seam. Pop in another pin. Now to find the centre front and centre back of your bodice panels, that will be just folded in half from the side seams. Pop a little notch in there, that should be dead in the middle. Find that hairy little notch in there, that's where it is. You can always mark it with a safety pin if you're prone to losing your notches. Pin that there, then you know that you've got 
equal amounts of fabric in each side. So pull that up a little bit more. That's the right length and then just evenly distribute all the gathers. A few more pins, you can pin all the way around if you need to. And then we give it a stitch. And we're going to stitch through all those layers and use the bottom stitch gathering stitch line as our guide. So that one should be a centimetre from the edge. So if you stitch on that line, then you should pretty much be your one centimetre. Bit fiddly. Straighten out the gathers as much as you can as you go. It will look much nicer when you've finished. There we are, we've stitched all around, take the pins out. We're going to trim the hairs, all those hairy bits that have uh, become loose. And again, my chosen method for finishing this is with an overlocker, but you can zigzag it or you could bind it if you feel the need. Look nice with a nice bit of binding on there. There we go, overlocked, all neatened. Now, to do your hem. Again, I've overlocked. You could zigzag, you could turn and turn. It would be, well, whatever length you want the skirt, really, you can decide how deep you want the hem. Um, I'm pretty tall, so I'm just doing the centimetre that I've allowed. And that brings it to sort of calf length for me. Nice straight stitch all the way around. One centimetre hem for me. Give it a press. Lovely. Nice neat hem. That is job done. Enjoy.